So we're going to go through all the data from the fitness tests I've completed and go through and compare the results to the normative data. First one is the sit and reach, that's 20 centimetres. Looking at the conversion table, that came out as very good. The next results are the vertical jump test. Um, you take the distance in centimetres and then plot that on the nomogram. I got 52 centimetres, plot over to my weight, which is 76 kilograms. That brought it out at 120, and that comes out as above average. The next two, the multi-stage fitness test and the forestry step test, both use conversion tables. So you put your levels in, or your pulse rate, and then that gives you an estimated VO2 max. My VO2 max was estimated at 46 for the multi-stage fitness test and 50 for the forestry step test. So with 47 press-ups and 46 sit-ups, they both came out as excellent or good. Grip dynamometer came out as excellent with 52 and my 35 meter sprint time with an average of 5.4 seconds came out as fair. The Illinois Agility Run came out as 19.2 seconds which was well below average so I need to improve my agility. The Body Mass Index, this uses the equation body weight divided by height times height. So to calculate my BMI, it was 76 kilograms divided by 1.755 meters times 1.755 meters. This came out at 24.7. This then on the conversion table came to desirable. Uh, skin fold tests, um, what you need to do is you add up all your three measurements. So in this example, uh, it came to 55.66 millimeters. This was then plotted on the nomogram with my age and came out with 17% body fat. With my actual test results, it came to 35 millimeters and it, plotting on the nomogram came out at 11% body fat. So that summarizes all of my test results. You need to be able to go through and analyze and work out all the calculations for all of your tests. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, or click in the description below for my protein clothing.